Hello Leo, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It means others can benefit from these readings. Please remember this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone. Happy, happy, happy. Beautiful. This came out for another sign, but I can't remember which. Building blocks. It's the same message. It's the same message. Now we'll see what the, might, well these are the same cards. It might be a different message. This is baby steps. Uh, taking baby steps to overcome challenges here and there's going to be a wonderful happy outcome. Let's see what this is about. Show me clearly, Spirit, please show me clearly. Scorpio energy, you could be dealing with a Scorpio here. This is the death card. There's changes coming, yes. There's a five of pentacles. Yeah, there's been anxiety and worry here and there's been disappointment. And this is a time now to start rebuilding, taking baby steps to rebuild these pentacles. Now, these people are feeling left out in the cold. There's been a lot of worry and mental anxiety here. This is coming to an end, though. What we need to do, though, fives are changes. We need to start to focus now on these pentacles. This could be within your work life, your relationships, your uh, home life, your environments, or your finances, wherever this disappointments lay. But this is about being in the present. Letting the disappointments go. We need to behave now as if our cup's half full and not half empty. We've been feeling as if our cup's half empty. So we need to change our perception here. And we need to focus on these pentacles because there's always refuge. There's always something we can cling to here when there's disappointments. So don't, you're expecting the worst here. You're blocking your energies with thinking of the worst here. You have every right to be disappointed if there's upsets. But we need to change this type of energy. We need to start to focus on the present now. Let what happened go and start to build these pentacles to build stability back. And this is where the change will lie. You'll bring change. The energies are around. There's transformative, transformational energies around. Spirit wants this to change. It's time for change. We need to build things now. We need to take these baby steps to go forward. So let's just clarify this Five of Pentacles energy here. The Queen of Swords. The High Priestess, there's your baby steps, there's your Knight of Pentacles again. So listen to your intuition now. This is about making strategic, solid, intelligent decisions, um, clear-headed decisions about the path you want to go down. If you listen to your intuition, your intuition will guide you. You'll start to go from black to white. You'll start to gain enlightenment, if you like. This is knowledge. You'll start to get the knowledge you need to see what you need to do. Now, this can be cutting people or situations out of your life that no longer serve you. Um, this could be communicating very clearly the path you want to go down. She's very clear on what she needs to do now to build things back again after disappointment and disappointing times. So nobody gets in her road. And what you're looking to do here is you're looking to take baby steps here to bring the stability back. Now, we need to look at the details of things as well. So we want to make sure that we've got, we're, if we're signing contracts, we're looking at the small print. We know what we're getting involved in here. But this is the slowest night in the pack. And the reason he's slow is because he looks at the details and is meticulous about the way he goes forward. He takes it very slowly. He does the research. He's very sure when he moves forward. And that's where the solid foundations come from that you could rebuild. So anything laid on solid foundations will stand the test of time. So this is about building things again after disappointing times. We'll just clarify this Nine of Swords energy spirit, please. Can you show me clearly? Yeah, there's a judgment call needed. Judgment. A decision here, the Two of Swords. And the Four of Pentacles. So we're feeling stuck here. We're having to let something go. It could be, it's our mentality here. The worry, the anxiety is what's holding you back from moving forward. Like I say, listen to your intuition here and come from an intelligent place because you're going to have to make a decision that you maybe had to wait to make or you've been putting off. Now, it could be that you've had to gather more information or wait, like I say, to make this decision here. But there's a decision that needs to be made and it will unstick you and it will move you forward. And it's a judgment call. And what Spirit's saying is, they're trying to support you with this decision to go and what you're going to do here. Um, there's information that could have come forward here that could help you to make this decision at this moment in time. But this judgment call is going to rise you up. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. And this is going to bring total change into your life. And the, the path that you're going to go down, you're going to enable you to start building again. So I get a feeling where you've been held back here. 
There's a feeling of being held back and not knowing what to do or being wrapped up in something that needs to end. And this judgment call is definitely going to free you. Use the knowledge you've gained from the past to make the right judgment call for new. It could be somebody coming back from your past. That's, you know, so make sure you're working in your own best interests here and you're making the intelligent decisions that are in your own best interest. Because there's happiness ahead. There's happier times ahead here, Leo. Stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. It's all about listening to your gut feeling now. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.